What's up, guys? I'm playing Super Lucky's Tales today. Um, Super Lucky's Tale, yes. Uh, and I, I had seen this originally, right? We watched this at the Xbox um, keynote and everything, and it caught my eye because it looked different than pretty much anything that's usually on the Xbox. You know, it was, it was a platformer that had kind of the cartoony, kind of cutesy look to it. And it was a little interesting to me. Now reviews have come out for it, and it's been middle of the road. It's been average. I think it has like an, a 67 on Metacritic or something. Um, which places it the same review score as Need for Speed Payback, uh, apparently, and uh, a little higher than Sonic Forces <laughs> at this point, the Sonic Forces. Um, but I wanted to at least take a look at it and kind of talk to you guys a little bit about this game, because I saw people on Twitter who are saying, hey, has anybody played Lucky's Tale at all? I I'm kind of curious. Now, it's available on the Xbox, um, and it's available on the PC. Now, what you're seeing here is played on the Xbox One X. So I'm playing it there. It's recording at 1080p. Um, it, it's, uh, good. It, the frame rate's pretty solid overall. I haven't had any issues with it, like, stuttering or anything. And I'm gonna go over some of, some of the mechanics here and how all this works. So you see right away, um, I am, uh, playing as a, as a fox. And I'm kind of burrowing around here, <laughs> um, which is interesting. So you have, like, a burrow mechanic. So you kind of burrow into the ground like this and move around and you let go. That's with either trigger and you let go and you jump back up and then you kind of dive right back down. So there are some puzzles that let you do that. Uh, the interesting thing about this game is it does play like, I personally think, a better ukulele. That's right, I think it's better than ukulele in terms of mechanics, polish, and everything. So this was a world that I just finished up called Heavy Heads. And uh, the way this works is you see at the top right, uh, there are clovers. And the way this works is you want to try to collect those. Those are like, um, like the puzzle pieces in Banjo-Kazooie or the stars in Mario 64 from what I could tell. I just opened... Golem Getaway. So let's go in here and see how this works. Now I have my my lives at the top. I, I had seven lives right now. And then you have like, those hearts. That's your life bar. Um, and then I, I guess I collect coins and knock back down to zero. <clears throat> this guy is, is actually training me. Here's the thing about the stories in platformers. You don't really need one. I mean, look at Mario Odyssey story. It's not good, but it, it, it does the job. And in this case, it's your sister like got trapped in like a book. And she's like that, that formless voice that's helping you. Um, so I'm playing here to pretty much restore order back to the world as uh, it, you would you would expect. You have a double jump too, which is kind of nice. Um, so I was just went down here to see. Oh, there you go. I guess I gave me coins. I don't even know what the coins do. So you also have. I missed the L, man. So there's an L back there somewhere. I don't know where it was. Uh, you actually spell out lucky. That gets you one of the clovers. Um, and. You can kind of see it's a it's a pretty straightforward platformer. You attack with um, X, and then you can jump on top of them after you stun them. There's a checkpoint that I hit, and it seems like I'm just working towards getting more and more of those coins. And I I, I feel like it's just like a collectathon kind of thing. So let's see if I can. There we go. I got the C. So yeah, I definitely missed that L back there somewhere. I wonder where I missed it. I don't know. Let's go see if I can find it. There we go. So right trigger and A. Oh, A and then right trigger. Got it. Oh, it does like this dive attack. It's interesting. Um, the only... All right, so let me talk about some of the issues with the game that I think people are finding. The game itself. I, I just talked about the story and everything. Everything is very generic, is what I'll say. Uh, there's nothing that, to me, makes this super different from any other platformer. It's something that it really makes you appreciate things like how Mario Odyssey has done a lot to reinvent themselves um, for a while now. You know, I mean, that's the thing about Mario. Whenever I see a new Mario game, I get... Oh, I, can, I cannot see the platform. Uh, I get a little concerned that they're not going to be able to reinvent themselves and make it um, kind of... Oh my gosh, I cannot see that platform. Uh, to make it interesting enough to play again, right? Because you're like, it's Mario, we've been there, we've done that. And then we get this capture mechanic and it's like... Man, Mario is like brand new again. <laughs> um, but this game kind of has a problem of being very generic. There's nothing I look at and I go, wow, this is super different. Um, I, I want to play this game because of it. No, it's it now it is a solid platformer. I didn't really understand. I was looking at some of the reviews and then I play and oh I am stuck. There we go. Um, they were saying like the the actual platforming was sloppy. Um, things like that. I haven't really run into anything that makes me go, this is a sloppy platformer, like, control-wise. Am I trying to get him? I guess. Maybe that's where the last thing goes. The only thing that really annoys me is if I get too close to the ledge every time, I'll kind of crawl back up it, even when I don't want to. 
But otherwise, oh nice, that's the clo- oh cool, very good. So we got, got a clover, and you see them up top, top right where they'll kind of, oh, kind of tell you how many you have. The platforming elements are good enough. I mean, it's again, it's not, the controls aren't as tight as something like these. Oh man, that hurt. Uh, something like we saw with um, Mario, but they're good enough. And you're seeing right now. Of course, I pick a level where it's um, where it's like a 2D. It's it, this is not a 2D game. <laughs> like it's 2D side scroll. It's this looks like a 2.5D. That's not what this game actually is. It's a um, it's a 3D game like uh, like Ukulele or Banjo Kazooie, for example. Um, which maybe when we get through here, you can you can maybe see. Uh, we'll, we'll, well, it depends on how this level keeps going. Um, oh my gosh, these things are uh, starting to flip on me. Uh, I bet you there's something cool. No, nope, I guess down here. Okay, here we go. Now I'm in the background. See, I don't like I don't like being in the background like this. It's actually kind of hard to see everything. So there's bees. See, like I said, the enemies are kind of uninspired. Like those are bees that shoot me with their stingers. It's like, yeah, I guess that's. Pretty, pretty straightforward. <laughs> um, nothing that's like, oh, that's how you get up there. Nothing that like is super unique or anything. Like I said, that's the one problem I'm running into with this game when I'm playing it. Nothing is like, I, I cannot believe I missed that um, that L. That really annoys me. <laughs> so I, I'd have to go back all the way through the level, I guess, and find it. There's nothing really here that makes me uh, uh, remember this game. It's not very memorable. That's the only thing I'm running into. Otherwise, though, it's a solid platformer. I didn't really remember much from Ukulele, though, either. That didn't seem like a very memorable game with its character decisions or anything. Uh, so this is... And then you open up more worlds as you go. So this is like your big overworld, kind of. And then we're just going into different worlds and everything. And they want, they want to keep collecting these coins. But I don't really know why you're collecting the coins. Like, at least in Mario, they gave you something to start doing with your coins. Lord Ember's Domain. That sounds interesting. Uh, whereas in this, there's so I missed two clovers. Um, one was the lucky, uh, the spelling out the lucky thing. Um, the other one, I don't know what that was. There's some coins over here. So there are coins everywhere, and I'm coming up on a thousand. Maybe when you get to a thousand, you get something. Um, but they haven't made that like completely obvious yet. I'm gonna go into. I know there's stuff over there. I'm gonna go into Lord Ember's domain to see if this is more of a 3D uh, type world. Because the last one I went into was more of a 3D type world. Um, we'll see if this one is as well. Maybe. Come on. So it looks like it might still be a... Uh, wake him, Golem. <laughs> you described the Gauntlet of Fire in Lord Ember. You will find me waiting, but for now, I vanish. <laughs> uh, so, okay, yeah, this is a little more... Your Guardian. See, they like to give you the name of the Guardian, a, a Guardian, your Gatekeeper. It's like, yeah, they're so... Terms are generic. The gameplay has not been bad. The visuals are okay. They're not like crazy or anything like that. Um, I am playing on a 1080p TV, but still. So this is more along the lines of like the th more 3D type aspects. Whereas before I was, oh, there's the L. <laughs> I needed that in the other level. Um, I don't even need that life. Uh, whereas before it was more 2D straight up. I mean, this is still kind of 2D, but it, it is, it does have 3D to it. Uh, here we go, we'll go up, no. Uh, let's see, what am I doing here? What am I missing? What am I missing? Oh, I gotta put his... Oh, no, now everything became a death trap all of a sudden. That's awesome. That's fine. I can... Uh, oh, I can't jump with him, though. That's... That, uh, that'll make things interesting. Run along here. And we'll get right through here. Come on. Ugh, got it. And, oh. So you get these golems and you're trying to like, you're trying to get him back to his, the rest of his body. Uh, ooh, coins, oh, okay. So the, the idea is to get him back to the rest of his body and then that will uh, in turn give you, ooh, there's the U, there's the U. Uh, and that'll, I guess, move move the, the, the level along here. And that's kind of the idea. So we're gonna keep, I wonder if there's anything down there. Oh no. Oh, that was close. <laughs> oh, man, that's going to be close. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Here we go. Okay. All right, everything's everything's fine. Every, every, oh, no, come on. <laughs> All right. We're good. We're good. I, I cannot jump with you. Oh, the sea's down there. The sea is down there. Can I, can I just drop it? Yes, nice. Where am I at now? Okay, I've seen the K in the... 
don't know why. Did I? Oh, there's probably something over there. Ah, that's fine. I think we're good. They, they wouldn't put the K right next to that. That's probably further up. Checkpoint. And there's the big coin. Well, I can't jump with him, though. Uh, Lord Ember, a burn thing. What? Pretty fur? Prettier on fire? Uh, okay, prettier on fire. We're in birthday. I wish to um, offset a burn. You see, like, even, like, the dialogue. Eh, even better. Oh, I should not have done that. <laughs> but, like, the game itself, it's not bad. Like, I know there was a lot of, uh... Oh, man. I could have gone and get that. Yeah, it's fine. I know. Oh, there's the gate. There's the gate. Get the gate. Oh, no. He's going to get me. Come on. I'm fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> uh, I know. Oh, there's a big diamond. There's a lot of people who just uh, kind of ragged on the game. It's not bad. It's, is it the best platformer? Absolutely not. But I think it's a good little platformer to play if you're just kind of bored and looking for something new to do. And it's 30 bucks. It's not a full price game, so... Uh, something else. I feel weird. Thanks, though. <laughs> Be careful there. Don't let Master Mitten... Yeah, it's fine. And, uh, so I guess I'm getting close. I have... I'm still missing... Man, I bet you I missed one of the, uh... That's fine. I'm still missing the, uh... The spell... Finish spelling Lucky. And then there is the main clover that you get, I guess, for it. What the... Oh. So, I'm, uh... Uh, enjoy your <laughs> puny victory where it will be your last. So, I guess I'm eventually getting to a point where I'm fighting him. I don't know. Um, so I'm missing, I was missing just one, I guess, out of it. Let's see, what's up here? Break some, oh, cool, there we go. So they hide these, like, little, like, these little holes around and stuff, and you find them, and then you go to, like, another part to play, and then try to beat. Um, I don't know how many worlds there are, whoa, blue. Whoa. Do these just count, I guess they just count as regular coins? Oh, no. <laughs> I guess I'm supposed to be getting all of them. I missed that one. Man. And now they're shooting stingers at me. That's fun. We got it. We got it. We got it. Come on. Come on. There we go. And that's going to open up. Oh, okay. There's going to be a clover. So that's one of them. And then I know the other one is uh, the last one to get, which is the lucky thing. And then the... Oh, am I supposed to go back? Okay. And then the first one. So I know at least... I know the other two. I don't know where that last one is. It's probably hidden in something like this. Although it has a... um. Oh. I thought I was going down. Oh, maybe it's over here. Oh, it's up there. I see it. So we'll just go back up here, and we'll exit this part. Very good. Um, so, uh, guys, that's a, that's a quick look at Super Lucky's Tale. Um, not a bad platformer overall. Kind of fun if you're an Xbox fan, you don't have much else. Um, not a bad platformer to look into. It's $29.99. It's also available on the PC. So if you have a PC and you want to try it out, it's there. I like the, the colorful visuals. I think the graphics themselves could be better. I think it could be a, do a little better with some more personality. I think it's kind of generic. Uh, but overall, controls well. Um, it's a full-fledged game. And I, I think for $30, bucks, it's, it's pretty good, I think, if you're looking for something along the lines of ukulele, but maybe better in terms of level design and the actual platforming elements. Kind of neat. So thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you next time.